We're here at the Institute of Fundraising's National Convention in London with Chris McMillan, who is the Chief Exec of the Fundraising Institute of Australia. Chris, tell us about the latest developments at the Institute. Yes, well, um, we've really embarked on a big mission in terms of online um, capability, mm. um, convincing with some new database and web-enabled activities. And um, I guess the future really for us is to increase that and have some online uh, learning materials mm. developed. We currently have a diploma and a skills-based program. And just with our um, sheer large um, logistical nightmare of distance in Australia, um, we need to get that learning um, to our distance areas. Um, is important, so the online arena will really help with that. Yeah, so what sort of areas would it cover? Yeah, um, two areas. One in particular would be around um, ethical um, legal and uh, legislative frameworks. Um, in Australia we have the, the issue where we have um, states and territories where they all have different legislation, different yes. requirements, so licensing and legislation is very important. Um, the other focus will be around um, the various strategies involved in your marketing um, and support areas of fundraising. We tend to focus on the practical sessions, that would be the face-to-face -face for um, you know, all the aspects of fundraising. Um, the, you know, the core things can actually be delivered online. So, yeah, so that's, that's the next development is in role. Yes. Um, and you're working on policy issues as well, such as the Charity Division. We have a lot of policy things happening in Australia. We had a uh, budget delivered, which um, a few months ago sort of said that, that we would have a charity commission established. And they're very ambitious. We established, they're saying, by July 2012. So right now we're in the throes of actually looking at various models around the world, um, consolidating that research and then um, assisting government in, in you know, implementing that. Um, the sector has really welcomed this model. We've been wanting it for a long time. So um, yeah, it will be interesting to see whether or not it will actually be implemented in that time. Yeah. And you work on codes of practice as well? Yes, we do. Um, we're part just as the Institute of Fundraising and the um, Association of Fundraising in um, the US. Um, they also have codes, we work with them, and so one of the areas that we're really keen to move ahead on is developing codes that support the various modes of fundraising. That has been undertaken, um, and we're just about to release a code of practice that relates to social media. So it's not about how to um, undertake social media fundraising activities, it's more around the guidelines of practice um, and best practice um, for overseeing, administering, and so forth. So we're, we're very excited because I don't believe there's any other uh, code in existence. Interesting. And you have a major conference yourself each year? We do. Um, Obviously, um, in the summertime there, as it is here, uh, and held at the end of February. Uh, next year, it's to be held at the Gold Coast. It's a wonderful destination to come for a holiday, escape the winter from the north. Um, and it, it attracts around 700 delegates, um, a similar sort of sizing to exhibitors and so forth. And very much, um, we've moved to have more of an international flavour in the conference. Um, so we recognise that you know, Australians don't get to travel with their work as much in this sector, so it's important to bring in some internationals to, um, to give them the best in learning. Chris McMillan, thank you very much. Thank you.